Here we have a 1958 Royal Speed King in excellent condition. I'm going to show you how to use all the functions and make sure they all work. This one has magic margin, so you just hit the top red button here and it'll send the margin wherever you want it. And if you want to move it closer to the edge, you just hold the button down with the carriage release on the back part, portion of the knob. And same with the right side. If you want to set it right there, you just hit the button and it magically will set that margin. And if you want it closer to the edge, you just hold it down with the carriage release behind the knob at the same time. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin and you hit this line space, gets you back to the beginning and skips one, two, or three spaces. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip this switch forward and it'll skip two or three. We're gonna keep it on single for now and go back to the next line. As you can see, all the keys type nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sense in red on the next line. It's got a black and red ribbon, so pop the hood, you just hit that button right there and the color selector switch is right here. And you just flip that down and skip the line. Very nice type of machine. It feels kind of like it's brand new. It's been well taken care of over the years and the print on this one is really nice. Nice typewriter to use daily, ready to go, right out the box. To pull the paper out easy, you just flip this switch forward and it'll release the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to uh, pull the paper out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. It's got a backspace on the left side here, works good. Shift on each side and a shift lock on the left. To clear the shift lock, you just hit the shift button again. It's got a tab function to set the tabs. There's little Tab setters back here, and they've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Let's see if we can get a close up on those. These right here, and you just push them down and move them like that. And when you hit the tab button, it'll stop at each one of those. Works really good. You can also manually set the margins from back there with your finger. <clears throat> Open back the hood, you got a touch control right here. Uh, the higher the touch control, the more tension you got when you hit the keys. It bounces back faster. The lower, uh, the easier the keys will hit, but it's a little bit slower. And it's got a ribbon direction con uh, control right here, right behind that. Right now, all the brand new ribbon is on this side, so we want it to pull to the right side. So we're going to switch that to the right. And it's pulling clockwise to the right. And if you got, if you use up all the one side and then it's pulling in the, uh, the wrong direction, it'll jam up your vibrator, and it'll seem like your typewriter is malfunctioning. When you just need to make sure that the the direction is going the right way. It's got a margin release here on the left side. You get to the end of the margin. There's a mechanism to stop you from typing. If you hit that margin release. It'll allow you to type past that margin and finish the word that you wanted to finish. And that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.